I was a bit perplexed when I saw a new drive announced at CitizenCon and the hype surrounding it. Like many, I'd seen reviews of it on beautiful, expensive test benches, and that didn't really help me. I wanted to see an average PC user with this drive and see how it performed on their PC, so here we are. Before we start, here's some basic benchmarks from IDA64. All of my tests were run at least four times per drive or per operation. It's not a huge number of times, but this is a dirty PC. This is a real life test with background applications running like Steam, Goverlay, Malwarebytes, Windows Defender, you name it. They're all running in the background, all using up CPU cycles, etc. And they'll all be using little bits of some of these disks. It's not meant to be a perfect test. That's the entire point of this. But by repeating the test, Hopefully I'm ironing out most of the issues, or at least capturing an average. The first test is simply loading into Fallout 4, going to the menu and jumping into Game. Now I'm measuring this frame perfect, that's why I recorded it. This isn't a guess, I can get this down to the nearest 100th of a second. As you can see, the Optane wins. Just. The old NVMe drive I have from Samsung comes in a very close second and the 840 EVO I have, which is also my boot drive and my Windows swap file drive, coming in not far behind either. But remember this is a dirty test, so I'm having to sit and mash the return key. That could quite easily account for the variation in times. Basically if you have an NVMe drive here, you're not going to notice any difference at all with the Optane. Next up, I thought it would be best to test it with Star Citizen. 3.0 released the PTU today. Would you like to guess which one wins? Surprisingly, the 840 EVO wins, only marginally, but it won every single time, and I ran this test five times per drive. Next, I decided to drop into the asteroid hangar, since going to Crusader would almost certainly introduce too much network jiggery-pokery, especially with PTU just out today. Again, the 840 EVO wins, every single time. Remember, it's my OS drive, my swap file, and has tons of other stuff on it, but it's still beating out the Optane. Between these three drives, there's no difference. You just won't notice it. Where does the Optane actually have any sort of advantage for the average person? Potentially the warranty. It's meant to be a much harder wearing drive, but it's too early to say it's going to be any better than the others. The only test I could find that the Optane consistently won on is the very niche. I mean, seriously fucking made up niche. And that's copying a very large file from the Optane onto the Optane. Now I can't think how many times I would do this in a month. I, I, I'm Actually, I, I can't think of any time I would ever do this. I would potentially move big files from one drive to another, but I would never just make a, an exact replica on the same drive. And before you think of Steam backups, with Steam backups, you're, you're going to be backing up from one drive to a different drive and you will be compressing in the, at the same time. Or you'll be backing up to the same drive, but you will be compressing. That's a different operation. This is purely copying one file to make an exact replica on the same drive. And in this scenario, it wins. I mean, it blows the others out of the water. But does that make it worth double the price per gig? And let's face it, no, it doesn't. Now, I've owned the drive for about eight hours, and I would say it's maybe, maybe, a little tiny bit more responsive when opening files. That may well just be wishful thinking. In fact, it probably is wishful thinking. It's not noticeable, and even if it was, you would get used to it very, very quickly. So in my humble opinion, who's the drive for? I think there's four types. Number one, the person who absolutely must have the latest kit for their PC and nothing else is good enough. Number two, the person who absolutely must own every Star Citizen ship, but has never heard of the grey market or eBay, and for the love of God, don't use eBay. Number three, the person who's confused, perhaps is getting on a little bit, and pops into the local purple PC shop and asks for advice. And number four, some numbskull who buys one just to see if it's any better, then will attempt to return it later, like me. 
Remember, this was a real world dirty PC test. It's not intended to be perfect and it's not intended to prove whether you should get one of these drives or not. It's here purely as proof of how it actually works in a normal PC under normal conditions. And the answer is, it's just like any other NVMe drive. And in some cases, not even as good as an old one. 